Hey guys, Dr. Boys Minecraft here. This video, I am doing another episode of History Lessons. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Now, the ship I am. Uh. God damn it. The ship I am uh, doing a his uh, video about today is this the VMA Royal Ed Edmund Class Cruiser. Or. Mm, that's not a cruiser. It's a heavy destroyer, although it was unofficially named a Dreadnought. Now, uh, this is actually not the full, uh, this is like, not the original version of the M Emden. Uh, it's a very difficult name to pronounce. Uh, this actually has anti-aircraft armament. Uh, but that's it. Um... Although this is only the uh, first version that appears, uh, but I'll get to that in a bit. So, uh, a little bit of backstory on the uh, class of ship this is itself. Uh, the date of manufacture was back in 2012. And uh, these ships were designed uh, primarily to uh, just dish out a lot of damage, as you can see from the amount of weapons it has. Uh, it also was able to take quite a lot of punishment at the time because scattershot uh, TNT technology wasn't as powerful as it is in the modern day. Uh, these uh, kept seeing use through, uh, through the war, just not a whole lot. Uh, now these were actually the uh, product of the BCE and uh, the Victorian Alliance. Uh, you can kind of tell that it's, well, it has something to do with the BCE with the sheer amount of guns on it. I mean, really, the <laughs> BCE is really the only faction that can put so many guns in one thing. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah. Uh, but, of course, uh, again, this particular ship is the Royal, uh, with its anti-aircraft fire. Uh, although this is only the first refit that happens to her. Uh, but again, I'll get back, I'll get to that in a bit. So, this is the main bridge. You have the uh, controls for the fire guns. There's that. Again, it was unofficially named the Dreadnought. Um, even though it didn't really live up to a Dreadnought. Now, for those of you who don't know, in real life, a Dreadnought is essentially a battleship, but it's slow and bulky, and it has a lot of armor. That's, like, the main point of it. Why in the world is that like that? There we go. Anyway, so let's go down below deck. So this is the main hallway here where you can access the belly turrets, the war room, oops, captain's quarters, and uh, yeah. So, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, backstory on the class. So... Yeah, it was uh, unofficially named the uh, Dreadnought, uh, mainly mainly because of the sheer amount of guns it has. Um, as you can see, it has a lot. Uh, and, you know, it's got some pretty decent armor, but it wasn't like uh, what the Dreadnoughts we have in real life are like. Now then... Let's get into uh, the meat of all of this, which is the VMA Royal herself. Now, uh, the Royal was designed just like all the other class of ships, where, uh, you know, they have the uh, engines and storage and fuel and everything. But this ship saw use in the Aran War. She was one of the few ships that wasn't 
decommissioned before the war. Oh, that's right. And uh, she actually saw quite an extended use for the for her class of ship. Uh, although most notably, she took part in the third battle for Nuketown. Uh, there was also another a a a a a whatever class of ship she is. Uh, she's in. Although that ship was sunk quite easily as her bridge was taken out by a long range artillery fire along with the front main battery and yeah she just kept getting pummeled by fire until she was eventually sunk but the royal sustained uh, a fair amount of damage she lost her main battery lost uh, some guns here lost a big portion of the main bridge, but she still remained afloat. Her armor held out. Uh, the captain coordinated with the helmsman to make uh, complicated uh, maneuvers. And yeah, so uh, that basically uh, got the ship to get a retrofit, as you can see. And I just realized Ha <laughs> ha I need to fix that, but I will, don't worry. So that caused the ship to get a retrofit with better AA defense, because that's her main weak point, as fighters weren't really... They were a thing back then, but not too much. Mainly because ships were already very small. I mean, look at all the old Victorian ships. They're just gunboats. And a boarding ship. And a tiny little corvette. Anyway, so the AA was just her first refit. She was uh, later refitted to be slightly wider. Uh, they just basically cut her down the middle and then made her a bit wider. Added more armor to her. And called it a day. Now, of course, because of that, she became much, much more effective. They also added fire partitions, so she was able to withstand more pain for longer periods of time. They didn't have to worry about damage control parties a little too much. And then her engines were eventually uh, refitted, retrofitted, so they just took out the old ones, put in new ones. Uh, obviously that doesn't really do a whole lot for the actual gameplay in the server, but still it's a nice little tidbit that I like to put in every now and then. And uh, her final battle in 2074, during the defense of Briar Valley, she was finally sunk. But she wasn't just gunned down into a fine mist. She ran out of most of her weapons. She lost her main bridge. Her armor was virtually gone. Her navigation bridge was gone. A large portion of the front nose was destroyed. And the captain ordered all full speed ahead, straight into the heart of an enemy aircraft carrier. They hit the engine bay, caused a massive explosion, destroyed both ships. But it deterred the enemy enough to sink their morale down low, and they eventually retreated. And the ship will be forever known as the bravest dreadnought. I just came up with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video uh, talking about a bit of an older ship from I do believe the first or maybe even second era of the BC, but it's not a BC ship. And uh, yeah, so. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Okay, hey guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, next up, uh, coming up is going to be uh, Skyrim. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know that 
no one is really here for that kind of stuff, but I like to branch out and stuff and do different things. Also, I'm running out of things to do in Minecraft anyway, so... So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.